This is the Harris Bridge, 1929. I assume this is, might be the bridge keeper's house. I'm not sure. Covered bridge. This is we're a little ways west of Philomath, Oregon. driving up through the forest and all of a sudden we come across this castle looking house. That white part to the left is like a dome. It looks like it's under construction. There's like three different Statues of Liberty. The biggest one being right here. Very interesting, to say the least. We're in Toledo, Oregon, at this park. It's a roadside park. Got a nice big water feature. I saw these geese over here. Wanted to get a video of them. They probably think I have food. He's coming after you. <laughs> yep, the ducks are coming. Look, he's going fast. Goose is going to chase him off. I don't know if you can see all the ducks out there because of the reflection off the sun, but there's quite a few out there. What's on top of his head? How close can I get? Guess that's as close as I can get. Okay, bye for now. One Spot, the steam locomotive known as One Spot, retains its original number one from June 1922 when it was delivered from the Baldwin Locomotive Works in Philadelphia to Toledo, Oregon. The engine is a 90 ton superheated steam boiler type 282 wheel configuration with a 50 ton tender for fuel, oil, and water. The driving wheels are 44 inches in diameter. She was employed for many years in logging service along the coast in the South County in 1936 when Camp 1 near Yakutz was shut down 
the C.D. Johnson Lumber Company acquired and moved the engine to this area, continuing to run the reliable steamer in its logging operation between the Silitz area and Toledo. One spot spent her entire career hauling logs from the forest of Lincoln County. After her retirement by Georgia Pacific in 1959, the engine was put on permanent display in Toledo, now under the ownership and caretaking of the local railroad historical society. It is hoped that this icon of the region's railroad heritage can be rescued from further ravages of time. Hear the engine one spot coming into Toledo with disconnects full of logs, 25 cents. Quarters only. This says Loggers to the Woods, 1930s Gibson motor car. I'm assuming it's a railroad version of a crummy. <clears throat> Maybe they just stand on these platforms on the sides. Not sure. Okay, bye for now. This is the community boat dock in Toledo, Oregon. I want to check out these cool old wooden sailboats. They're very interesting looking. There's one more down here on the end.
Anybody home? Nobody's home. I'll walk down by those bigger boats and take a video down there in a minute. Are there some commercial fishing boats? That white one is called the Anova K. The green one is called Kristen Gale. The next green one is, I can't see a name on it. And this huge sucker right here is called Miss Sue, Portland, Oregon. That sucker is big. I see some fishing nets wrapped up on a spool in there, so it must be one of those boats that puts out nets and drags them back in. We're still in Toledo, Oregon here. Got a, I think this boat's called a trawler. This one here is pretty big. They're doing a lot of work to this one. That's the time to do it. Looking good. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yep, they're remodeling this one. Hi. Nice little green sailboat. This boat is called Liddell, Dallas, Oregon. This green sailboat. It's named Taiku of Vancouver. And this white boat is Captain Ben F. Of Toledo, Oregon. These are called spouting horns. Where the water comes through tunnels in the rocks. And then it explodes to opening similar to a volcano. I similar to a volcano eruption. These are called spouting horns. Oh, is that what they're called? That reminds me of a volcano blowing up lava. Yeah, it does. Damn, the waves are crazy. Kipo Bay, Oregon. That gray building down there at the end is the whale watching center. Oh my god, it's, it's, not, it's not huge. That's the biggest wave yet. Here comes another one.
Oh my god. Depot Bay, Oregon. Oh, Depot Bay? Depot Bay, yeah. Oh, Depot Bay, Oregon. Center at Depot Bay. Bay Harbor under the bridge. The volunteer in the whale watching center told me that this is the world's smallest harbor and he also told me that it's a very difficult harbor to navigate because of this entrance having a dog leg. If you're not familiar with it you'll get in trouble really easily. See the fishing boats in there. There's some buildings up there. Channel House Lodging overlooks the ocean. This is the Devil's Punch Bowl. <laughs> 